magic win! The magic win! Magic. Magic. Win the game! That's better. Magic defeat San Antonio on the home floor, and, uh, protecting the home ground. 133 to 113. I mean, it was a close game for a few quarters. Magic with just a five point lead going into the fourth, but then. We broke away, carried by Cole, who had a monster game. We'll talk about that, I'm sure. It was bowl early. Franz and Paulo had quiet points, as they do. But really, it is the Cole Anthony game. I, I have to say, Peach, it really was. I enjoy nutmeg and cinnamon. Nutmeg and cinnamon all over the place. We were drinking some. I pounded eggnog. So eggnog. Cinnamon and Cinnamon and nutmeg. <laughs> Right in the right game. in there, baby, and it was it was a one of those games. I like I po- I pointed out the game flow last time, so uh-huh. I, I always do like to look at the game flow because it pops up when I open up the app. Um, this was a game that, like in the first half, didn't play super well, and we're down by uh-huh. nine for a while, like to the Spurs at home, and it's like, hey man, what's the deal? Made made a comeback at the end of the second half to make it tied going in, which was key, I think, and then. Had a good third quarter, good enough to like be able to just completely pull away in the fourth. A very strange um, way things started out for us. I just felt like we should have yeah. done more of that fourth quarter stuff in the first half, but it took us a while. It almost felt like we were like playing with our food a little bit there. <laughs> and it was kind of like, hey, man, you want to just eat that or what? Because <laughs> someone else might take Isn't it. Isn't that a nice feeling, though? Well, we're usually on the opposite side of that, so that's why I know what it feels like. And yeah. Usually we're scraping to stay in these games and focus and put it away. And this year, even when we are underdogs, sometimes when we are doing that, we are still in the game at the end. The Spurs reminded me of us from last year where it's like yeah, you can fight as hard as you yeah. can, but eventually you're going to lose by 20. You know? <laughs> yeah. It, it definitely. I mean, even early on when we struggled with turnovers – and honestly letting up a whole bunch of offensive boards. We were still shooting the fucking lights out of the building. I mean, we ended, Peach. I mean, these numbers are crazy right you, now. You shoot 57%. Yeah. And that's that's <laughs> going to win you a lot of ball games. 57% from the field, 53% from three. I mean, that's it, it's tough to overcome that if you're the opposing team. Cole with 23, 10 rebounds, 9 assists. He was 8 for 10 from the field, ladies and gentlemen. Cole shot 80% tonight. Fact. 4 for 4 from 3. Fact. We just did on what, episode 34? 30, yeah, I mean, we oh, were, 34, yeah. when we recorded it, it was in the doldrums of a losing streak. Well, the end of it. And we yeah. talked about concerned players, and Cole was one of them. Right. Because could his efficiency keep him on the floor versus a defense? And, yep. you know, he had an interview last night said, I'm a starter. And I think that Jamal Mosley going with him as a closer. Yep. It's more important, honestly. It's more important to be in at the end of the game in clutch times than it is to start the game. Yeah. It just, I know they keep track of starts and yeah, they don't we'll keep track of closer though, right? numbers, but like that stat doesn't really matter that much to me. Forget who told us on the live stream, man, said Cole's going to have a big game. We should have fucking bet the house on Cole. <laughs> any, any of his, any of his props would have been good. Shout out to everyone who came to the live stream. It was a great time. Yeah. We had a good, a good, uh, good time on the live stream, mixing it up with people, uh, was suggested that maybe we trade Mo Bamba for a bag of chips. Then he dropped oh. three straight three pointers. So oh. no, oh, it's Doritos or bust for Mister Bamba. Multiple um, bags. My dad was in the house. Uncle Bernie broke yep. down some of the action at the after the game. He actually got into our chairs a little yep. bit and had some legit questions. Good to it was good a to good have time, him interacting. Man. Good times, man. It was it was a good game all the way. Uh, I, I wish we had had a better start. So I felt more yeah. confident at halftime, but but we, we did still always confidence. feel like yeah, right. we did always still feel like at some point we're going to turn it on and win. Which, but it's just a weird feeling. We don't normally have that. I feel so. right. That's, that's why I feel like we need to have intervention with the fans, with with every our fellow Magic fans out there, because like, I know you might, as of late, be feeling this feeling, and it's it, it feels almost unnatural. Peach, mm-hmm. it doesn't feel right. 
But you need to let that grow, ladies and gentlemen. Because what that is, that's confidence. Mm -hmm. That's winning culture, baby. And we're growing some of it right now. We're we're in games and, you know, we're like, oh, second quarter. Okay, down by six. Not really worried. Whatever, you know. Okay, it's fine. Right. Didn't feel that a year ago. Definitely not two years ago. You know, this is something different. I, I know it's the San Antonio Spurs tonight, but. Right, you against know, a lot of other teams, we might not have been able to play that poorly in the first half and still be tied at the end of it. We're not playing um, down to our competition. So, no. we're, we're, we're playing to our ability level, and this was a depth win. Mm-hmm. This was a depth win. Did we already talk about that, the, the jump, or was that off camera? I can't remember. Anything. No, I'm it's saying, it, I mean, if this, eggnogs. this is like winning a war using only submarines. Yeah. Because we used our depth. Yes. And uh, that was a big factor for the win. Not that the starters all played well, too. Sure. Honestly. But um, it was the depth because their their starters played pretty well, yeah. especially in the first half. And that almost seemed like a stalemate. But then, boom, bench guys getting it done. And that really is where a lot of championship caliber teams, that's where they take advantage of teams because they have a good bench, a deep bench. And finally, with all of our guys healthy and able to play, now our bench is deep. And it's like... Wow, this is this is fun, right? Like right. this is the way basketball is supposed to be. Like that's where our advantage is now. Sometimes it should be, hopefully, and it will be as we get more and more guys. Having Wendell Carter and Gary Harris come back, we haven't talked about them. We fuck, Let's we do must, it. dude. We must. Wendell coming back. He played more minutes than I. Well, I guess only nineteen when I look at it. Wow, it felt like more because he came in and out three times. Okay. Eight points, four rebounds, two assists, four of nine from the floor, oh of five from three. He was pulling a lot from beyond the arc and wasn't yeah, hitting. Him, he but, wasn't shooting from his spot either, but that's okay. He's right. back into flow. Gary Harris, 20 minutes, nine points, two assists, two boards. Woo. I'm comfortable with the compliment Woo. with what those guys added tonight. I know at some point Wendell will add more because he'll get more minutes. And I think even Gary could end up having more minutes in the future going forward. But overall, it was a good team win with all these guys kind of who maybe haven't played all together at at any point in the season, but now they're all kind of out there moving the ball around. It's different. It's what man. we wanted from the start of the game, start of the season. Like the minute we realized what our unit's going to be like in the summer, we were like, "Oh man, it'll be cool to watch all these guys play together." And now, for the first time, we're getting to see some of the stuff. Starting. And there's still a couple other guys that could come back in and be like, "Oh man, I never even thought about the idea of like this." Jonathan Isaac person putting on a basketball suit and playing games. That's wacky. <laughs> it, it it does feel a little wacky. We only had three guys on the injury report, although Kevon and Admiral three. did not did not suit up. Right. But like, that's I think that's, that's a coach's that's a that's a decision. DNP. they they could have played if we needed them. But it's nice to have them get a night off. Those guys have put in a lot of minutes for two way players. They broke mm-hmm. that down during the game. They were each averaging about twelve minutes a game. I think uh, Kevon was at like 25 games played and, and Admiral at 22. That's a lot at this point in the season for two way players. I want, we, you had the idea to look it up and compare it against other two way players around the league. If someone out there is good enough with algorithms and dots and bits and things like that, look that shit up yeah. and let us know. Get your binary code out. I feel like Kevon and Admiral have played as a lion's share of the minutes more. G League minutes than probably anyone around the league. I would imagine it's probably among the top, yeah. We now have the Lakers, the Pistons, the Wizards who are playing tonight who we could swap with if they lose, so we're going to watch that game. Mm. Oklahoma City, those are our next four games, all teams under 500. We're, I mean, hey, we're having, we're having playoff conversations, ladies and gentlemen. Two and a half outside of the playing tournament. We are just pretty much neck and neck now with the Wizards. If they lose tonight, we flip with them. And then we're only two games back from the Bulls. Whose pick we have? Right. Wouldn't that be sweet justice to just hop them and get their pick, which is worse than ours? I mean, woo, that would be nice. <clears throat> this guy's talking like he's getting he's getting into it. He's letting the spirit flow through him, and I love him for it. Holiday spirit. I love him for other things, too, Holiday but I love him tidings. particularly for that. But let me give you these fun facts. Mm-hmm. The Hornets are eight and twenty-four, so they are like four games back from us. So we're not yes. even close to being in last place anymore in our own division. Right. And in fact, if we had four more wins, we would have as many wins as our division leaders, the Heat and the Hawks. Wow. And you know, your boy, yes, 
and this guy yes. also have some serious money on the Magic win in the Southeast. So let's go. Yes. <laughs> and by serious go. money, I think you mean five dollars or ten dollars. Well, that's what we have collectively fifteen dollars on it. Yeah. But it will be thousand. It'll be two. Th- I'll get a, a sixteen hundred. Yeah. I think you get like eight. So we're wow. talking over. We're clearing two grand if this For thing a happens. Five dollar and a ten dollar bet. So as a let's fan, go. of course I want it. But yes. as a human man. I really, really want it. <laughs> because then we will get the NBA Jam live stand up in here. We'll get my bed out of here. <laughs> the studio we'll will take out. off. The show will be unbelievable. <laughs> Let's go. We got to start live streaming some NBA Jam, man. It'll How are you fun. feeling, ladies and gentlemen? We're doing it. We're, what, eight out of our last nine. Let's go. What are your ideas? What are your feelings about this team? Let us know in the comments. Subscribe. We're almost at 1,000. Come on, thousands a big fucking deal. Tell a friend. If you're watching, you're not subscribed, just do it for right. a little while. And then once we're over a thousand, you can unsubscribe. We don't care. Yeah, if you're a creator on YouTube, you know just, you have two YouTube channels. We yeah. do. Yeah. Use the other one. Do multiples. Yeah, check it out. All right, we love you, ladies and gentlemen. Big win for the magic. Cole Anthony throwing it down. You're a Merry fucking Christmas. Happy starter. holidays. Love you. Peace. Thanks for coming.